Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Before we start today's video, we need to address a little controversy that's been kind of going on in the community lately um, with The weekend uh, coming to Halloween Horror Nights. Now, we're going to be talking a little bit about the announcement later on in this video as well as not Scary Farm announcement as to, uh, from today. But I just want to address that because uh, this is the perfect, I think this is the perfect video to do that because Sammy and I are both on different sides of the fence with this maze. However, we are both neutral when it comes to giving it a chance and checking it out. Um, Sammy is very for this maze. I am. I wouldn't say I'm against it. I'm just not a fan of the weekend. I, I'm not, I don't really listen to his music very much. And, you know, I just, I, it's not something that I would, you know, really be excited for. Um, however, I am willing to give it a chance and check it out because although I may not like the music, the settings and, and whatnot, uh, the, all, the, all the sets in the, in the maze, all the displays and everything might be really, really good and the scares might be really good and the, and the costuming and then the makeup and everything might be really good. Um, so I'm hoping when I go through the maze that I come out actually very surprised. I, and I've said this many times to many people, um, if I am wrong about this maze, I will be the first to admit that. Um, now, the reason why we brought this up is because I've been seeing a lot of people on both sides attacking one another. That the people that don't want it to come are attacking the people that want it to come, and the people that want it to come are attacking the people that don't want it to come. I've seen various YouTube videos uh, of channels, um, people you know discussing said things and whatnot. Let me just put it here right now. For those who don't want it to come and are probably not going to give it the time of day, uh, leave them be. If they don't want to go through it, it's okay. There's an entire an event for them to go through other things that they might enjoy. For those who are for it, uh, we are, you know, you guys are excited. That is awesome. And you guys should be excited um, because you guys probably see something that we don't on the other side of the fence. Um, and let them be excited for it. For those who are neutral and, you know, are not excited for it but want to give it a shot, good for you guys uh i'm i'm one of those people that you know i i wasn't i'm you know i'm not a fan of his music but i am going to give it a try and sammy can contest i just don't listen to that kind of music so it's just something that i can't really say that i would enjoy but like i said the sets might be cool the costumes might be cool the the, the scaring might be cool from what we've been hearing as far as how much it's been built uh this sounds like it's going to be one of the most complex mazes they've ever built at, at halloween horror nights um so i'm going to give it a shot i am i'm just not a fan of the weekend's music and and my shirt says it all i am a classic rock metal punk fan sammy on the other hand is is actually pretty stoked for this maze and we're going to get to that right now but please no one hate each other for this. Don't hate anyone specific for this. For all we know, this might be the best maze of the event this year. For all we know. But all I'm saying is, and this is coming from me who's on the side of not really looking forward to it, give it a shot because you never know, it might surprise you. With that being said, we want to get to our regular scheduled program and talk a little bit about the weekend, break it down, and give our thoughts about it. So let's roll that intro. Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the weekend announced at Halloween Horror Nights 2022. Sammy, you have all the info. I'm going to let you take it away. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I just want to reiterate what Tony said. Let's not be gatekeepers of horror. Let's be one happy family um, and let's unite, uh, you know, and support one another, um, depending no matter what side of the fence you are, or even if you're on uh, off the fence, you know, um, let's just, uh, you know, support one another and have a good time. Um, and so let's just cover just what we what we know this far. So according to the Universal website, the weekend after Horror's Nightmare um, is um, the little description we got is prepared to enter the macabre mind of the weekend and this haunted house as he stalks your squad through the surreal nightmare of his after hours music. A slasher carving a smile at otherworldly rave, banished maniacs performing extreme plastic surgery, a grotesque mannequin masquerade. His nightmare is now yours. 
Um, and so, you know, definitely this is a, a huge announcement. I feel like this is something we have been speculating for a little while. Um, with just a few months ago, the weekend accidentally leaking, leaking this maze. It, yep. <laughs> um, I remember that. Yeah. So I think we've all known that this is coming. Um, but now we have the official announcement. So we can all say the weekend is coming. Um, and as Daniel Craig would say, ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. <laughs> Um, so I, I'm really excited for this maze, as Tony had mentioned during our intro, uh, because I definitely think um, it's going to be a, a new and different way. Um, we get to see the revival of a music maze, um, something we haven't seen in a few years, um, as well as just a, a, a new take. Um, I know that John Murdy has said it's going to expand the boundaries of the event and horror in general. Um, so that gets me really excited and gets me linking out the chomps to, to, to walk in this maze. Um, and there was a really cool Entertainment Weekly uh article that was released um and in that article uh charles gray who's a senior uh show director in orlando uh for hhn he said it isn't a retelling of the after hours album um it's entering the nightmares that were the muse for his songs there's a lot of surrealistic horrific imagery as we expand upon scenarios inspired by the videos um so i definitely think like this is really cool because it's not just looking at um the album, but looking specifically and expanding upon the lore of those albums. Right. I mean, and, and as I mentioned, it is a music maze. Um, so you are going to get some music um, in this maze, which is cool. Um, and so according to that Entertainment Weekly article, um, you'll be hearing After Hours, In Your Eyes, Heartless, Blinding Lights, Savior Tears, Solo Version, uh, and Too Late, um, which is cool. I, I'm not really familiar with the album. I know that Tony, when this got announced, you had listened to the album, so you'll probably be a little bit more familiar. Um, and it's something I hope to maybe spend some time and go listen to. I got a flight in just a few days. So maybe I'll download the album and hey, listen, listen to it while. Hey, listen, man, the album's only an hour long, <laughs> so I think you can get it by in one flight. Yeah, I have a flight on Friday, so I don't know when this is being released, but uh, Friday is midsummer, so I'll be flying Friday afternoon to to come enjoy the horrors of midsummer, which we are both super excited for. Um, and then um, they, you know, they elaborated a little bit more here, um, and they said that it's basically going to be split into three sections. You have like the nightmare extraction, where you really get into the head of the weekend and see all the stuff that's getting pulled out, um, and we're going to have to face those things in dark places he went to when creating this album. Um, and then we'll go through like the track of the album. So I, I think that's where we'll get most of the music that was mentioned. Um, and then the the maze will be our house. I'm sorry. Excuse me for using the, the band hey, word. Hey, man, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to use maze because that's the Cali term for the I've, I've used since I started going to haunt and not still uses it. I mean, I know they call them houses at Horn Eyes, house, maze. I, I just think you can call it whatever you want. And that goes to everyone out there. Call it whatever you want. Whatever you're comfortable <laughs> with, call it with that. Yeah, yeah. This isn't the WWE. We're not banning <laughs> words. Um, so, yeah, then the finale will take you into the after hour station. Uh, a subterranean metro tunnel that recalls the locale last seen in the weekend's disturbing after hour short film, which I had no idea there was a short film. So yeah, I got so to a list of things I need to watch. I can talk a little bit about that actually, because I've, I've done a little research on that end. Um, yeah, when, and that, and I've kind of known that for a while about that, but when the, when the album got released, um, he decided to make a little short film based around those songs. Um, and kind of give you a little now everyone that's been telling me about it obviously you know they said you got to watch the music videos to see more of the horror influences to you know what the you know the music is I, I have just listened to the album I've seen the music video to blinding lights um, and I've just listened to the album I personally and, and I brought this up I'm just not a fan of that type of music and Sammy can and talk a little bit about that as well and, and you know back me up on that because every time we drive somewhere it's usually metal punk rock and that's just who i am that's always who i've been but um the oldies, the oldies, the oldies yeah don't forget the oldies man the oldies are good man but it, it's one of those things for me where um i i just i'm not a fan of the music so it, it's it's probably on the lowest of my hype list so far um but uh, again like i said in the beginning i'm going to give it a chance hopefully that uh outside of the music the the actual maze just blows me away you know i mean i could i could go back if i do like it i'll probably go back just to see certain parts of the maze that i liked i can care less about the music but the uh the maze the detail and everything that the, that the team is going to put together I, i'm hoping it's it's top notch especially because this is a, a big collaboration with them and one of the first music mazes with an actual artist like this 
uh, since I, I believe Black Sabbath 13. I mean, Slash, he's done original stuff for the event, and, and Figure has released some of his music, but has also done original stuff for the event. So this is the first time since Black Sabbath that we've actually had uh, an artist come in and do a maze based around their personal music. So that's kind of cool. But I mean, for me right now, I'm just, I'm not too stoked about it. I mean, I, I'm like I said, I'm not a fan of the, of the music, but I'm just hoping it blows me away maze wise and scenic wise. In regards to like the LA image and obsessed culture and pit, and then as well as like the pitfalls of fame, according to, to Murdy, which I think is really cool um, because obviously this is taking place in Hollywood and Orlando, but we're mostly talking about Hollywood here. Um, and since, you know, we'll be in the city of stars to see like the pitfalls of fame, um, I think it's a really cool theme. Um, and then uh, I have some points that I, I think like you'll like that maybe get you a little bit more hyped is uh, Murdy was saying this is the most complex lighting design that they have in terms of programming. Um, so I think that's really cool. Um, I imagine we are going to be blinded by the lights. I hope so. <laughs> which is going to be fun. Um, I don't know if I probably get a migraine, but hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Prayers. <laughs> Whatever we got to we'll do. We'll take some Tylenol before we go in, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so that'll be really cool. Um, and then the one that I think will get you most excited that I was reading um, from Murdy um, is that this leaves the door basically open to more music mazes. Um, and he is open to an Iron Maiden maze. Don't tell me that. He said it, bro. It was on Twitter. Don't tell me that. I know, I know that gets you very excited because that does. is. If you, there's I know some, that there's that, a number of the beast right behind me. Yeah, yeah. He said that someone had asked him, like, "Oh, what about an Iron Maiden maze?" And he was basically like, "I know who they are. I'm familiar with it. I would like to do it." So, um, that is really cool. Oh man. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay. I'll give the weekend a shot if that means we get Iron Maiden in the future. Yeah. Yeah. No promises, obviously. No promises. I know it's probably it's hard to collaborate with artists, especially with Iron Maiden constantly touring, n making new albums. I just hope they do it before Bruce Dickinson retires because he's talking about retiring now. So, oh well, even if they do it after he retires, it'll be know, more time, I more just, time to be uh, get in the creative process. Yeah, but uh, that's cool, man. I mean, listen, like I said, there's two sides of the fence on this. Let everyone have their own opinions about it, and let's not attack one another. And let's just enjoy the event as a whole. I said, regardless. If I don't like one maze, there's still an entire event that I'm very excited for. So far, we've gotten The Whores of Blumhouse, Black, uh, Black Phone, and Freaky. Two great movies, in my opinion. Um, we have Halloween 1978, which is a classic. You can't go wrong with that. And I'm telling you right now, this is going to be my, my, my pitch marketing point for this. And, and Horror Nights, if you want to use it, that's fine. Just please give me a comp ticket or maybe a front-of-the-line pass or something for the night. A Chris Pie 5. I don't care. Yeah, just it's something, you know. I mean, just just give me so, you know. Come visit Halloween Horror Nights and watch how it all began and go to the theaters and watch it all end. Yeah. I'm just saying that's a good catch line. You know what I mean? So, I mean Universal Monsters uh Legends Collide music by Slash. I mean, we already know Universal Monsters never disappoints. Never disappoints. So I'm super excited for that. There's such an amazing lineup. There might be an announcement this weekend at Midsummer Scream. I'm not 100% for sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But Murdy tends to bring something for the audience so they can walk away very satisfied. Whether it's an Maze announcement, Terror Tram announcement, Scare Zones announcement, or just a behind-the-scenes look at mazes, I can probably guarantee we'll see more. maybe a behind-the-scenes look of either Universal Monsters or... Uh, weekend. Um, Universal Monsters. It's not weekend. I know that. You don't think so? Yeah, it's Universal Monsters. I'm fairly confident it'll be Universal Monsters. I think someone did ask him on Twitter if it would be the week if he's going to cover anything about the weekend this weekend, and he did say no. Yeah. So I definitely think it's going to be Universal Monsters Collide. Yeah. And I think we either are going to get a Lyrona announcement because I mean that is literally happening. Yeah. Or we we're going to figure out what's happening in Curious George, i.e., speculated Scarecrow. Or you could just make me a very happy person and announce Killer Clowns from Outer Space because it's already out there. What if he brings up John Musari to announce it? Well, I mean, the Kyoto Brothers are going to be there on Saturday. They so are going to be there on saying, Saturday. And it could hey, work a... out. Hey, and the facade, and as we posted on Instagram today, the facade. I mean, it's just there, up here. bro. It is there. It's uncovered. There's no hiding it no more. And, I, and I'll tell you this right now. I'll be the first to say this. I will be the loudest one in that room if that gets announced this weekend. I guarantee it. 
Guaranteed. So there's there's a there's a great event this year. I really think this is going to be a strong comeback year for them. Um, twenty twenty one, obviously with with COVID, they were you know working with what they had, and they still put on a, a you know a fun event. Uh, yeah, I, I can say there was a lot of mazes that Sammy and I probably didn't enjoy as much, but we still had a lot of fun. That that never stops because regardless, we're still going to have a lot of fun. We love haunt season. We love going to Horror Nights every year, and it's it's what really it's the foundation of this channel. So um, I'm super excited, uh, and I hope the weekend blows me away. I really do. I'm going to give it a fair shot. I'm going to guarantee go through it at least twice because I'm going once on opening night, and Sammy's coming down the opening weekend of knots. So we're going to be going to Horror Nights. So I'll be going again with Sammy's to check it out. And I'm I'm just I'm 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 open minded with this maze. But let's yeah. Think uh, Oh. Wait, wait! I wanted, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do the switch. There was something else announced that was pretty epic today, and definitely raised uh, expectations. I'm once just saying, again. let's take a trip down the five south. Where are we going, Sammy? Going home, boys. For going home. Oh, what do we have in here? I don't know, but I think we should probably start heading back now. Dude, whatever you do, do not touch that. Not Scary Farm announced all Scare Zones returning from last season, and I am super stoked for this. This was, I have to say, Not has been doing terrific on these announcement videos so far of them taking place in the train, different rooms of the train. I mean, I'm just so, uh, even if it's returning stuff, it's got me hyped because we love this event so much. And this one was a good one. Sammy, what did they announce today in the Scare Zones? Yeah, definitely. They returned, they announced that all five mazes will or why did I say mazes? All five scare zones. That's the correct word. There it is. Will be returning. So Ghost Town Streets, uh Forsaken Lake, Carnival, Goring Twenties, and the Hollow. Yes. Man, I should have worn the Hollow hat. My bad. The Hollow. I know. I have my Ghost Town Streets hat too. I should have worn that. I have my Carnival hat. Damn it. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It's okay, you know. Um, but you know, we're part of the Losers Club today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all five mazes are returning. And I really liked how they did this announcement, like the same thing. Scare zones, they, not mazes. Or God, dang it, dang it. <laughs> we're just excited. Um, we're talking about mazes and scare zones today. 
yeah so the scare zones oh they announced all five scare zones they did the same thing of kind of like showing these like little clips um as well as like incorporating um like actual clips from the streets Oh, which was super cool and a lot of our friends were in those clips so that was really yeah. cool to see for me i mean i was literally at work and i saw like all the scare zones and everyone that i knew in said scare zones i like legit screamed because i was like just fanboying because i was like i know those people that's, that's so cool yeah and, and i really liked how they're doing it um i like how they're doing this like little train progression because last year we yeah. got the conductor obviously um and so like this year we're going into the train um and i like how they're showing different objects from every um whether when it was mazes yes. or now with um the scare zones they were showing objects from each different area which was really cool like they were like relics uh kind of remind me of the whole cruxes if you're a harry potter fan yes yes so, so that was really cool to me um and then we got a to be continued which oh. is cool so like so next I week we're hoping for something else <laughs> i know i my guess for next week is going to be shows i know that yes that's probably the one that I, I would gonna say be they would save the if they're gonna announce any new things which we are hearing there's two new mazes they're gonna save those for last yeah, I definitely think we. We'll, so about next week we'll get shows, which is fine. Like those are cool. You know what we gonna do? We gonna pop we're gonna it up, pop baby. Pop it up, baby. We're hoping <laughs> pop it up comes back. We love pop it up. Yeah, yeah, pop it up. Um, and then I think the next week we might get our first new maze. Mm, I don't know. We'll I'm see. I'm so stoked, bro. I mean, listen. We can confirm Mystery Lodge is under construction right now. We can confirm that Paranormal is getting its replacement this year. Um, so that's two that we know of. Um, and Mystery Lodge coming back after taking a year off. That's I'm super stoked to see what goes there. Um, Special Ops was such a great maze with the whole interactive with the guns and whatnot that I'm, I'm super excited to see what they go forward and how they continue to... Uh, make this event even better than it always is um and i'm super stoked for that and you know back to the scare zones though, i mean yeah the, these trailers i mean the first trailer gave something little something out of each uh maze which was awesome this trailer gave a little something after uh every scare zone which was the lantern from forsaken lake we had the bride's fucking candle from ghost town we had we had a fucking red clown nose from carnival we had some goring 20s uh pro prohibition stuff which was really cool and we had some pumpkins for the hollow did i forget in scare zone i don't think no, i you, did you went five for five good job yes that i mean i i'm loving these trailers man the, the fact that they take the time even though they're returning stuff it still hypes us the hell up and we're so super excited knots is has a very special dear place in our heart and we love returning every year sammy make sure that he does not miss opening night for that one because that is home for us the bench is waiting for us we cannot wait to sit back on the bench again i mean we have we have we have multiple benches now but you know ghost town is where it's always going to be at yeah definitely yeah i was real i was real sad that i had to miss opening night last year obviously i made opening weekend but uh yeah i'm excited got my get planned my schedule early yeah. make sure we were there um and so Definitely excited to see returning shows, hopefully next week, and then maybe some new mazes the following week. Maybe some new shows, maybe. I don't know. Well, Who knows? Hey, hey, as long as Pumpin' Up comes possible. back, we'll be all right. Anything's possible. Yeah, because <laughs> I was know? I was kind of upset that last year I didn't get to catch all of the shows. Right. Just because we were on super tight schedule, and they didn't bring back the Knots Pass. Yeah. Um, so it was fingers like, hey, we got to gust. Yeah. Fingers, fingers crossed if they bring it back. Because uh, if they do, guaranteed your boy buys it day it drops. <laughs> And I'm he's going money. multiple times. It's okay. I'm buying. I'm gonna move to move some money over. You know what I mean? You gotta. We gotta do at least two or three trips while you're down. You know, it's like guaranteed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, definitely opening weekend. It, if, if they release a pass, I will be there three times opening weekend. I mean, this is probably uh, in, in, to kind of wrap it up. This is probably one of the best weeks we've had uh, thus far this season. And it's not even. Announcement. It hasn't even started. It, it hasn't this hasn't even started yet, bro. We got. Listen, we got a weekend announcement. Okay, uh, we got scare zones for scary farm announcement. And we got Midsummer Scream this weekend. Yes. So I mean, it's been haunt season week. is here, baby. Haunt Dude, season and is Monday here. Monday we gave away tickets. You know that's that was awesome. Big, and big dubs. Big dub. I mean, it's just been a great week here at the Knights of Horror. Um, and yeah, so to kind of wrap it up and, and finish finish it out, uh, I guess the overall message I want everyone to get out of this video is: if someone hates something, don't hate their opinion. If someone likes something. Don't hate their opinion for liking it. If someone's willing to give something a chance, even though they do not like something, don't give them hate about it. At least they're giving it a chance to try it. Uh, for those who are not looking forward to going through the weekend and who are going to skip out on it, uh, we respect your opinion, and uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of the event of what they have to offer and more to hopefully come uh, this season with Scare Zones and the rest of the mazes. For those who are excited for the weekend, 
get very hyped because what Sammy told me today is kind of getting me a little hyped for it now. Um, I'm just not a fan of the music, but I'm still going to give it a shot. So uh, no hate in the community. This is the, not the place to do it. We love everyone here, and we, we try to communicate with as much as much as you as we can. And uh, we love going to these events. We love meeting people. We love sharing the content we do with you guys. And we just want peace and love for everyone. Um, so, again, just go and open-minded like I am. Because that's easily the best thing that you can do. Um, you may not like the music, but you may love what the maze had to offer. So... I'm, I'm actually kind of a little stoked for it, but at the same time, it's still at the bottom of my list for hype because I feel like there's other things that haven't been announced yet that, I, that will definitely go up. And I know that, that will be for you too, <clears throat> Liarona. Anyway, Let's um, <laughs> with all that being said, uh, we love you guys so much. Uh, we we want to thank you guys for co constantly support us. We just hit 2,700 subscribers, and that was a huge milestone for us going into Midsummer Scream weekend. Um, and we're so close to hitting 1,400 followers on Instagram. And we love each and every one of you. We love throwing out this content for you guys. And uh, Sammy. Anything else you want to say before we wrap this up? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, drop a like down in that on this video and to let us know you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below on what scare zone you are most looking forward to at Not Scary Farm this year. Um, and if you want to continue to see these updates, because we got some fire coming out from uh, Midsummer Scream, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you really want to go the extra mile, hit that bell notification so you could be notified every time we post a video. But if nothing else, we hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Let's get Peace. Iron Maiden at the event in the future. Okay. <laughs>I just lost Sammy. Look at that face, though. That face is just telling me right there that it was... Maybe his laptop died. Who knows? This might be a blooper reel, so I'm glad you stayed until after the video because that is just the face you want to look at right there. You know? Um, so, yeah. Let me... Uh, oh, there goes Sammy. I love my computer. You gave... Did it die on you? No, it just restarted. Oh, I was going to say, you gave me a good blooper reel, at least. Yeah. Um, it was just your face, like, and I was like, look at that face. Isn't that the face of a champion right there? Give him the love.